Hello everybody, welcome to my third 3D modeling tutorial using Blender. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to model a cup or a bottle or a vase using just two curves, two Bezier curves, a circle and a normal Bezier curve. Now traditionally, if you want to create an object like this, you use a mesh object, like uh, these couple objects here, mesh circle, which I modified uh, to look like this. Traditionally, all right, you have to spin it okay using the spin option in the uh, edit mode so if you spin it right you have to make sure you spin at the right uh, axis as well in the front view and then the cursor axis must be in the right uh, location uh, right center here and then you hit 360 degrees and then you say spin okay let's try again and then you get your object like this now the disadvantage about this is that if I were to smooth this all right you notice that the uh, there's a seam here and then you've got normal problems like this you have to go and uh, remove doubles All right, then you have to recalculate the normals to get an object like this okay well this is the uh, traditional way of creating cups and uh, bottles in blender but there's another superior method which is just using a bezier circle and a bezier curve and I'm gonna show you how to do that right now now this method right is originated from this book Blender for Dummies by Jason Van Goomster from an example which he demonstrated inside so I'm creating a tutorial based from this book now if you want to learn Blender this book is highly recommended I recommend you get this book because you can learn a lot just by going through it okay now I'm going to show you how to do it I'm going to clear the Blender and get rid of this default uh, box Okay, so now right now I got this two window to show you what are my keystroke and what are the mouse buttons which I press. So I will not be mentioning the keys uh, combinations along the way. So first of all, I'll just add a curve, a Bezier curve. Okay, just follow me on this. And uh, next, I want you to rotate this in the x-axis in 90 degrees, so that it's going to look like this. And next, rotate, lock to the z-axis, 180 degrees. And I'm just going to move it aside like this. So if you press 1 in the numpad, okay, so this is what you're going to get. So we have to go to the uh, edit mode, pressing tab, okay, under the curve, we're going to make the control points automatic. Alright, so it's going to become flattened. And the uh, handles under the curve tool, curve tools. Alright, so I'm going to create the profile of my cup now. So I'm going to hide this manipulator. And I'm gonna press Ctrl to extrude to form the shape of my cup. Right, the blue z axis here will be my center point. Right, I'm gonna right next click and select this point. Ctrl to extrude another point here, and then another point here. Make sure the cursor stays right at the center at all times. Right, I'm just gonna pull this in. Now, if you want to tweak the shape of the uh, your profile, you can. Just turn on the handles again, and then you can start to tweak it. Okay, if you want to unlock the handles, you notice two of these handles are locked together. Just make sure you select the center one and press H to unlock it, so that you can move the handles independently. Alright, looking good. So once you're happy with your profile, okay, I'm going to move this one out a little bit. Uh, just tweak this one a little bit more. Okay, we bring it about here. Okay, this is fine. Okay, once you're happy with this, right, you can leave it for the time being. Okay, so this is what you should get, alright? Okay, the next thing you want to create is the circle. So let's go to the top view. Okay, making sure your cursor is right at the center of the grid system. Okay, add a curve, a Bessier circle. I'm going to bring up the uh, transform properties. And if you look, when I select this curve, uh, under the object name is called curve. So you can just highlight this. Press Ctrl C to copy. Right mouse click on the circle, the curved circle, and uh, go to edit mode. And then under the bevel object, 
right? Just uh, click on it and press Ctrl V to face curve, right? So if you press Tab again, right mouse click, right mouse click on the surface, Tab. You notice that straight away you get your cup or bowl or goblet or bottle, whatever, All right? So, but it's not complete yet. You, the thing about this is that um, if you go to the front view in the wireframe mode, and if you can select the original curve. Right, let me try to select the curve right about here. Okay, so let's go to the front view wireframe. You can just uh, move this curve until it matches the profile like this. So you can go to tab, and the, the beauty about this is that I can borders like this. I can still adjust these uh, the profile. Okay, let me hide the handles. A to deselect, B and I select just the top group. And you can see I can modify the shape of the profile on the fly. So that's the good thing about this method versus the uh, spin method. Right. Okay, let's say I'm happy with this. In reality, you don't need so much detail. So if you go to the default resolution, let me turn it down to only three. Okay, I'm gonna get out to object mode. Right, I'm gonna select the circle object which has been spun into this. I'm gonna reduce it down to three as well. Okay, you understand later on. So right now, you we got an object looking like this. Doesn't really have any normal problems, no seam problems. So I'm gonna shift D lock in the uh, x-axis to move it out of the way and uh, this is still technically a curve object so I need to convert it into a mesh object so press alternate C to mesh so now it's turned to mesh so I'm going to set smooth you can click set smooth here so now it's smooth and that's it you got your cup okay and if you want it to be smoother still you just apply a subsurf modifier so if I press control 1 Looking very smooth. Control two, another level, and then control three. And you got a very beautiful cup. All right. And if you are not satisfied with this, you can come back to here. All right. Go to the profile of the curve. Okay. Edit it and create another one. Okay, so get out edit mode first, shift D. So you can create another variation of the cup. So I'm gonna convert this into another mesh. Okay, set it to smooth, apply a subsurf. So there you have it. This is how you can cr quickly create cups or bottles or pots using this method which I feel is far more superior to the spin method. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you got any comments please drop me comments and if you like this video please give it a rating. Thank you very much.